Hi everybody and welcome back to Ellie's Beauty Box. I'm so glad that you guys are tuning back in. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Eliana and today I'm going to be sharing with you what I purchased from Sephora with my 15% discount. Uh, Sephora was not the only store that was having a 15% discount. Lord & Taylor as well was having one. So I took advantage of both locations and I was able to manipulate because I was so tight with money. I have been killing the bank, like literally killing it and I need to stop because like I said in my last video, I do have some shopping issues and I've become a bad shopaholic. So I might have... Two more hauls to do after this one because like I said, I've been accumulating a lot of stuff in my corner and I just need to get these videos out there, bang them out for you guys. So yeah, don't want to make this intro long or super duper long, but if you guys are interested and want to see what I got from both retailers, continue to watch and I love you and if you're new, please hit that little subscribe button down at the bottom. I love you guys. Okay, so... Let's start with Lord and Taylor. Lord and Taylor had, I was coming out on a wedding. My sister-in-law was getting married and I knew I had to do a couple of the girls' hair, especially the little girls. So I ended up getting this Flawless Curl Power by Science. It's the Twirl 360 T3. Looks like this and you're able to remove this wand the interesting part about this curling iron is, is that it actually, you push the button and it automatically twists the hair and creates the curls. So for a person like me that I want to do like hair really fast, this is so convenient. And if you guys want me to do a separate video on that, comment down below, give me a thumbs up and I will definitely do that for you. So the next item that I purchased was of course at my counter. I ended up getting two eyeshadows from Lancome. And the two eyeshadows that I purchased was Ruby Velvet. I just wanted to show you how beautiful. It's like a, it's like a burgundy with a purple undertone. And it's a little bit shimmery. It's a, it has metallic in it. But when I put this on my crease, it just looks stunning. And I get a lot of compliments from it. And this eyeshadow does move a lot when I wear it. I also bought another eyeshadow. Let me see if I can find it in here. Here it goes. The other eyeshadow that I purchased. I'm not a little bit too comfortable with the price range. $20 for an eyeshadow is a lot. But I guess they're paying. you're paying more for the packaging. Because it comes in a cute little plastic oval like this and then it has the slide part i'm definitely going to depot this and then i have this beautiful pink metallic eyeshadow as well i like to pick pinks and cranberries for the summertime i mean i think this is very universal you can use this winter and spring so i just wanted to swatch this pink color and the color that i'm swatching is called makeover so I love these two eyeshadows and I just want you to see how they are. I love the texture. They're easy to blend, very pigmented, and it's just easy to work with. It's honestly, very easy to work with. Of course, I got a free um, two more items from Lancome. I ended up getting my Bifacil eye makeup remover. This is the best thing to take off mascara glue from your eyes i love this stuff i have purchased this size and it's completely gone so i went to the largest size that they have this one retails for 54 with the 15 percent discount the more items that you put in the bag the bigger the discount so i took advantage of this little thing right here and then they have something really new now at the counter it's extremely new it's called the matte shakers the color that i ended up getting is 189 ready and five ready and five 
So it comes in a little shaker like this and you shake it and it has a little like metallic ball and you shake it. You make the product distribute. This is the actual color that I'm wearing now on my lips. You swatch this and it literally stays on your hand. Like I'm going to leave this here. Later I'm going to go back and I'm going to remove it with the bifosol and you're going to see a stain behind it. Super pigmented. The one thing that I love about this is it never makes your lips feel dry. You actually feel very hydrated. It does have vitamin E, so you will never feel uncomfortable. Yeah. I also went to the counter of Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder would have, was having a, I think they're still in, per if you purchase an item, you're able to purchase a gift item. And the gift item, I think it retail for, I don't think I have my receipt here, yes it did. The item retail for $42.50, but because I did the 15% discount, I got it for $36.12. The foundation was $39.50, I got it for $33.57. Now, I ended up getting the double wear foundation, and the color that I ended up being matched with was Shell Beige. Um, she did match me to something lighter to that one but I know that the summer is right around the corner the only thing that I notice about this foundation it doesn't have a pump so I'm gonna have to buy a pump separately but I can't wait to try this I've never tried the Estee Lauder double wear foundation I am obsessed with my 24 hour tinted oil from Lancome but I'm gonna try this little baby out and I also took advantage because like I said they were having a gift because I purchased that foundation, I was able to purchase this, like I told you previously, for $36. And I got this cute little bag. And on the inside, it is reversible. And on the inside, it has a hot pink, a fuchsia inside. So this bag was super cute for the summertime. I'm ready for the spring. And I can't wait to sport it with cute pair of sandals. Along with that, I also got these little items. So I just feel like the whole thing was a steal and was so worth it. So it came in a little package like this. Inside, they did give me a couple of um, Mother's Day cards. So I can use that for my mommy, my sister Laura, and everybody else. Here, I ended up choosing the Pure Color Envy. This is a little pot like this. It's not a powder. It's nothing like that. What it is, is a bronzer, a blush, two blushes, and a illuminate, like a highlighter, a luminizer. So, yeah. Just want you to see these cute colors. It also came with the blush brush from Estee Lauder. Not too fond of the brush, but it is cute. I mean, it's free. That's what the brush looks like. And then inside were two full-size lipsticks. I'll tell you, the whole thing was a steal. Sure, two lipsticks. Probably retail for $20. And I ended up getting... What color is this? Envy. I'm doing a swatch here. That's Envy. You can still see that matte shape there. And the packaging is beautiful. Like, who doesn't like a cute gold lipstick case? And then this is a nude color as well. The other one was a little bit more with a brown undertone. And this one's completely nude. And this color is called Desirable. I know I'm going to love this color here. So, Envy and Desirable. The Estee Lauder, the Illuminating Radiant Perfecting Primer and Finisher. Can't wait to try this. Can we just like, I put this, I'm going to put this on the other side of my hand because this is going to make my skin so dewy. Dewy, dewy. Look at that. It's a primer. 
So I just want you to see how the skin looks. And it is one fluid ounce, so it's pretty thick. Getting a lip and cheek sunburst 03. It's like a lip gloss. I could use this on my lips. I can use this on my cheeks. Do you see the glow? This would be so perfect for a sun kiss glow type of dewy face. Can't wait to do something like that. And this is the stick on the other side. You could put this on your collarbone, on your cheeks. Look at that. I have something else on hold with them. Can't wait to share that with you. All right, so that is it for Lord and Taylor. And I have a okay. for Sephora. I did my online shopping, but there was this one item that was removed from my shopping cart. I seriously had $200, maybe $300 worth of items in my box. And I needed self-control. And I really had to do process elimination. And I was just like, I don't need all that shit. I really don't. So I said, I need to cut my shit down. And I only got things that either I really wanted for a long time. And I know there's another sale going to come back in October, September, November. I don't know when they're going to do it, but they do it sometime around that range. So I had a curve, curve, and check myself. So the only thing that I ended up getting was the Marc Jacobs Highliner. This is the Matte Gel Eye Crayon in the color Fine Wine. This baby was in my shopping cart, and as I was checking out, somebody snatched it out of my bag, and I was completely obsessed. I said, let me go to the store and see if I can find it. And yes, I found it. This is going to look so pretty with Makeover and Ruby Velvet. That's the reason why I purchased it, because it is a wine berry color, and I can't wait to use this with that. So I just wanted to see it swatch next to Makeover Booby Velvet. Am I saying that right? Fine Wine and yeah, Ruby Velvet. Okay. All right. So this is my box. And I think I remember what I have here. And then again, I don't. So we're going to unbox this and see what I have. All right, so it says take a moment. I got some fragrance sheets here. I'm not going to do that. Oh, okay. I ended up getting the Shiseido Cotton Swabs. Everybody raves about this. I personally have never tried these. I always buy the Walmart brand, a big bag. I get like five of them for me, like five or six dollars. This was $10. And with the 15% discount, I probably pay like eight or something. And I think you get about 165 sheets. And I've seen videos that people cut them in half. Now, I'm looking at the size of these sheets. And I don't know. I have to wear my mascara for work. So I wear tons and tons of mascara. So I go through these pads. I use like two of them because I do one eye at a time. And I soak them because I don't like to really rub. So I like leave it there and I soak my eyes. And then I'll do like the circular motions. But I really don't like to lose any lashes. Because mascara can do that if you're not careful with them. So that is one item. The other item that I ended up getting, because like I said, I am obsessed with this foundation. This is my Holy Grail foundation. I fell in love with two of the high end, but this one, I always go back to it. And the shade that I wear is Y415, which is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. Every time there is a sale, I will replenish my foundation. I'm about to finish the other one that I hauled last year or in September and yeah it's almost done I am obsessed with this Sephora bright set loose finishing powder I hauled it I would say two videos ago four videos ago 
and my coworker Cassandra went up to me and she was like, your face looks amazing. I was like, oh, it's Genifique. No, I take care underneath my eyes. I hydrate. I use this. I don't get flashback. And I just love how it doesn't emphasize underneath my eyes. I do have wrinkles under my eyes. I am getting older and I do have them and there's nothing I can do about them. But for some reason, this sets my makeup so flawless. I get a lot of compliments and a lot of people don't believe how old I am. So if you guys have not purchased this, it's only $7. Number 15%, what did I pay? Let's do the math. Now, like I told you before, I have like um, wrinkles under my eye and I've tried so many under eye brushes. I have the Real Techniques, the little purple brushes. I have the Costa Stent Scent Skinny Brush. And I wanted to try this one. I know Rosita Applebaum is always talking about this brush. It is one of her, eye, her favorite brushes for underneath the eyes. So I had to get it. I've been wanting to get it. I've been staring at it for a very long time. I've been playing with my conscience and saying, no, you don't need to buy it. And of course, I'm having drama opening it. So I just realized that my camera shut off. So I'm back to do this uh, unboxing of my Kat Von D brush, the double ended brush. And it comes in a little cute little tomb case like this. And. It is double sided. So it has a blending part and then a pointy part. Okay, so it's smaller than the real techniques. I was thinking that I didn't need this brush, but after applying it right under my waterline, it's actually small enough to fit under there to blend out my bottom eyeshadow. So I was actually considering on returning this, but I put it under and it feels really good. It's not like the real technique, so they, they are different in sizes. I'll probably do a comparison in another video, but I thought I was going to return this. And then lastly, I ended up getting the Anastasia Brow Brush because I have the cheap one from Hot Look. I think it was from Coastal Sense, and I wanted to splurge and have another one because this one's going to go in my makeup kit for prom season. And that is all I ended up getting. I do have another haul video after this one, and I'm also doing a blog, me using Crescendo, so be on the lookout for that. If you didn't see my previous video on my Kali Bible palette the deluxe edition i'm also gonna leave a link up here please guys i know it's been a minute and i've lost a lot of my subscribers i don't know what's going on but i promise to have videos on wednesdays and sundays and if i'm able to upload one more i would throw it in as an extra treat so if you guys want to see maybe three videos in a week stay tuned love you guys so so much i love you take care and bye Bye. Bye.